Myanmar's civilian national unity government and its armed wing have claimed responsibility for drone attacks on two military bases in the country's capital city today. If confirmed, this would be one of the most significant offences against the military, which seized power in 2021. And you're looking at photographs circulating on social media with drones purportedly involved. The NUG says the attacks on the two army bases took place simultaneously today. Hours later, the Myanmar army said it had shot down several drones in Napierdor. These were detected near its air force base and its headquarters. The Myanmar army added that there had been no casualties, but local media say at least two soldiers have been killed and 15 others injured. And from what CNA's Leong Waikid joins us live from Johor Bahru, Malaysia. Waikid, how could two military-related bases installations come under attack in the capital city of Myanmar? Exactly. Now, if these reports were confirmed, uh, then it goes to show that the Myanmar military, when put under constant pressure, when put under stress test of fighting with its opponents since the coup, would leave it vulnerable. Now, the Myanmar army has uh, uh, before mentioned that drones are one of the biggest threats it's facing on the battlefield. Yet, the latest incident where the Myanmar army admitted to shooting down drones uh, shows that its drone jamming technology may not be as effective as it hopes it to be because there have been reports saying that some 30 drones were sent out for those attacks. The Myanmar army has said that it's shot down several of them. Now, it's stopped short of calling this incident an attack. It has not given any details as yet. But I must point out that this is not the first time that the Myanmar army's air bases in Naypyidaw and Yangon were attacked although this is the first time that the Myanmar army's headquarters in Naypyidaw is being attacked according to the National Unity Government. All right, why could you talk about the pressure that the government is facing, has been facing? Now, whatever we want to call these attacks or not attacks, the fact that they have happened at all, what, would the impact, would, what impact would they have, whatever they are called, on the current military-led government? a huge negative impact psychologically. I say this because this is double whammy. The brand name of Napidor is involved here. The military headquarters in the capital city is at stake. Now, anyone who's been to Napidor would point out that the roads are huge, huge enough for fighter jets or, or, or aeroplanes to take off or land on those roads. So this gives you a sense of just how important the Myanmar army sees its capital city. It sees it as a fortress with security measures in mind. Add to that, it's military headquarters where, where security and command and control is supposed to be solid is now being targeted. Now, there's also this add-on effect that the Myanmar army is being weakened from its recent clashes with the ethnic armed forces that launched Operation 1027 in October last year. Now, on the flip side, the National Unity Government is going to see this as a huge win. Now, one of the theories as to why the, the attacks were uh, taking place this morning is that the NUG actually held a public forum earlier this morning and the timing of the attacks is supposed to coincide with the timing of the meeting, uh, uh, the public meeting of the NUG. Now, although uh, the NUG did not publicly talk about the drone attacks this morning, internally, you may imagine that they'll be reviewing the progress of their civilian troops as well as the coordination between the leaders and those on the battleground. Oh, thanks for that, Waikit. Waikit, explain to us the significance of these drone incidents today in Napier. Leon Waikit reporting live from Johor Bahru, Malaysia.